I would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. And teammates to play it to. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, as you can see, he's a great talent. What a run, what a goal, and what a play he is. as always Alex the Gunners have lost the ball and also in attacking position it's not too late for them no way through but he took care of it defensively How can he take them on and beat them? But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. And slipped through beautifully. They couldn't maintain possession. Right, quickly over to Alex Scott, because I believe there's been a goal at Goodison. And it's his second goal for Manchester City. It's now level at 2-2 with 88 minutes on the clock. Alex, thank you very much. And he clears the danger. This could level it. And all square now. And you have to ask the question, is there time for either side to win it? Well, when you see this again, the defending just isn't good enough. The clearance doesn't get enough height on it, doesn't get enough distance on it, and suddenly the ball's being played back into their danger area, and they don't reorganise themselves, and that's why the ball's in the back of their net. So, a level contest, 1-1. And there we have it, the final whistle is blown by the referee and a draw for Arsenal, a share of the spoils. How would you assess it? Yes, the disappointment is clear to see. Obviously, with 10 minutes to go, they must have been feeling confident that they could see it out. But that's football, Derek. That's what we love about it. Time for a change then. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. This is looking threatening. 
Well, let's see about the cross. Not away completely. Nelson. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. Diego Carlos. Bruno Fernandes has it. Well, many have wondered if they would get it over the line in terms of the deal. They've succeeded, Stuart. Well, I think it's a good move for him. He has great ability, but needs to be that little bit more consistent. I'd say it's a fair price as well. And possibilities here. This looks promising. They might be able to get in now. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. That's a short corner. Now sliding in field. Superb block. Can he play it in? And he takes it on. And look at that. A goal here for Arsenal. Who now have got themselves on terms. Well, here's the replay, and it has been coming. They've played some great football in this game, and they fully deserve this goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. From one side of the pitch to the other. Tempele. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. They favoured a short one here. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Who can he pick out? And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And space to exploit, maybe. Fluency of movement. This looks more than decent. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Just ten minutes remaining here. Well, Arsenal certainly haven't been at their best, but they might just get one more big chance to level here. Their fans certainly think so. Just listen to them. Well, still time for them to level it. And let's give credit to the defending. Can they hit on the break? Goretzka. 
Steven Bergwijn. And Spurs moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Textbook defending inside the box. Saka. And they need to get tighter here. Chance to play it in. Is it going to be? And a goal! The equaliser! So typical of this fixture to throw up a scenario like this. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post cover for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So a personnel change then. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Tanganga. Bruno Fernandes. And here now come Tottenham. A goal at this late stage could settle the issue. Well, the Arsenal fans are driving their team forward here. Just listen to this noise. They can sense a winner coming. Steven Bergwijn. He's taken on his opponents here. But a good piece of tidying up. And that will be that. The final whistle has sounded. This contest comes to an end. I must say I enjoyed it. I trust you did as well, Stuart. And we have a replay coming up now. Well, it was a great game, wasn't it? Chances and goals at both ends and a lot of good attacking football between two well-matched teams. I'm certainly looking forward to the replay.